Hello, my name is Marty Westall. I am the poet from Lincoln Southeast High School. Ignite! And this is an yet another about, um, sorry, yet another poem about a mistake. I get hope when I finally hear people getting their way. When I prove someone wrong. When I hear the voices otherwise left unspoken like mine used to be. I guess it's about time that I get the most hope from a certain voice that never went down easy and always burned in the mornings. You handed it to me in a mason jar and called it moonshine. I don't condone drinking, but with a name that sounded like a cartoon character who wouldn't give it a try, what were you thinking naming it that? You gave me my hope. It's made up of the purest alcohol known to man. And trust me when I say I've never drank before this, and I never should have started, but you're giggling. Chuckling, existing voice became shots of hope. No, I wouldn't say I'm an alcoholic, but if I could hear your voice again, I'd easily be the heaviest drinker here. I want to get every last drop of your voice and seal in a locket only I can see because I gave you likes to walk on and you gave me your voice. We were made for the Little Mermaid. While you were made to be a bar that seems to only serve joy, hope, and maybe a little bit of sass, I was made for just another beer of sleepy speaking. God, I wish you could teach me to brew a voice like yours. Because no drink on this planet goes down as smooth as the one you began to brew from the day you were born, garnished with some C19 H20A02. And always leaves me craving more when every drop of your C2H60 I receive is never enough. Maybe I'm just selfish, but I want your voice to be all mine, and I'm not about to let anyone else have it. Even though the NSA secretly shares my hope with me when they listen in on conversations where they're not going to actually find what they're looking for. <laughs> but it still worries me to think that they might have gotten the hint that you supply my will to live before you have. I've learned over time, sadly, that hope is better in smaller doses. And it's not good to gulp it down all at once like I did. Everyone knows the mistake that was, because after a year of a sip every few days, I got greedy. I'm bound to have a hangover with how much I've taken in. Stealing the... I can't... can't I'm so sorry. I can't keep drinking this by the barrel like I am. Stealing it in the conversations we once shared. Once shared because it's been forever since I've heard your voice, and I can't wait any longer. It's my fault for going cold turkey and forgetting that. I rely on your words and the silkiness of them to survive through life. I've been draining you pint by pint and going over the glass and tipping it. I feel like at this point, I've quit for a reason.